Hi guys and welcome back to Popcorn Reviews and this is a very special episode uh, and if you're watching it on all things cinema then please subscribe to that channel as well and uh, subscribe to Popcorn Reviews as well, Re reviews with a double S. So the movie that we are going to be discussing today is Triple R. I know I am a little late to the game, I did watch the film on Sunday and the video by the time it will come out will be somewhere Wednesday or Thursday. So, uh, firstly, apologies, okay. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it was such a grand film that you needed that much more time to make that video, you know, to just recollect all the points. It's not easy, right? So, anyway, so RRR uh, is a magnum opus by S.S. Rajamoli, whose previous work was Bahubali. And, uh, you know, Bahubali was definitely a very big hit, probably the first pan-India film to do well. I'm not sure, you can let me know in the comment section whether that was the first uh, pan-India film to do well or not. And, uh, but here, you know, RRR was, you know, there were multiple delays, you know, uh, whether the film was going to come out on in 2020, then due to pandemic, it got postponed, then in early 21, it was going to come out, then early 22, and now finally it is out on 25th of March, and we got to see it. There was a lot of skepticism about the film, you know, like especially, is it going to do well? Is it as good as Bahubali? And especially with the Kashmir files doing terrifically well, you know, um, the question was, Will S.S. Rajamoli finally deliver a flop? Which was ridiculous, you know. I mean, that cannot be the question, right? But uh, it was skeptic. I was skeptical as well, you know, when I was watching the YouTube video uh, of uh, its trailer. So I found the trailer to be quite underwhelming, to be honest. And I was skeptical of the final product that was going to be delivered. But man, when that final product was delivered, I was completely blown out of my senses. So just to give a one-liner summary, RRR is a story about two freedom fighters who are fighting against the British Empire. This is the one-liner story and it is at the end of the day a masala entertainer. How is it a masala entertainer? Because here the freedom fighters, it's almost like a fantasy world in which they have superpowers, you know. Like, uh, and there are uh, multiple uh, mythological references as well uh, that are shown in the plot of the film. And it is a typical Rajamoli film, you know, with its vision, with its grandeur, uh, with the scale at which it is made. So this is ultimately made for the big screen, which made me realize why I did not enjoy the trailer so much, because I watched it on my phone. And uh, the trailer was not designed to, you know, to designed for the smaller screen you can say so it was that good you know there are multiple set pieces that are there and uh, especially the uh, the sequence where the two protagonists meet for the first time and save that boy and that if you watch the film spoilers uh, there's this river where uh, there's this accident that happens and they save the boy oh that was some magical moment i mean i've seen so many films and uh, the magical moment that just stayed with me, it gave me goosebumps and it just made me realize how much I love films, you know, that is one of the reasons why I started watching cinema decades ago, you know. So that was, uh, you know, the fascination for that and the multiple set pieces, the pre-interval one, I think only someone like Rajamoli could have pulled that with conviction, you know. It was a very risky sequence and uh, it was, you know, uh, shot at such a grand scale to have gone wrong also, you know, it, it was over the top, it was so well done that, you know, I was just watching it and just marveling at that uh, vision and the grandeur at which it was shot. And especially even the last sequence, if you see the final climatic sequence, that had multiple mythological references also with the arrows flying and the reference to Ramji. So, I mean, uh, it was actually a hair raising experience and um, even a certain the entire screenplay was designed that it had it was there was never a dull moment although to be fair the story did the screenplay did falter and stutter a little in that flashback sequence i mean that was a little elongated it could have been trimmed a little much but other than that i mean the entire screenplay for me was just like you know outstanding and uh, I it was a compliment that was given 
टू द ग्रैंडियर एंड द लार्जर दर लाइफ मसाला एंटरटेनमेंट सिनेमा वेर वी से द राइटिंग इज इंट इम्पॉर्टेंट हियर द राइटिंग वॉज कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग दैट फैक्ट सो इट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली स्टनिंग यू नो एंड द परफॉर्मेंसेज आई मीन अजय देवगन हैड अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट रोल ऑल दो इट वॉज अ कैमियो बट इट वॉज प्रोमिनेंट आलिया भट्ट आई रियली लाइक ऑल दो इट कुड हैव बीन डन बाय एनी वन एल्स बट आलिया भट्ट डिड अ गुड जॉब इज वेल एज डिड श्रेया शरण आई थिंक सम ऑफ द इंग्लिश एक्टर्स कुड हैव बीन कास्टेड अ लिटिल बेटर आई मीन देर आई फेल द एफर्ट वॉज अ लिटिल नॉच लोअर दैन वॉट इट कुड हैव बीन Uh, but the show clearly belonged to you know Ram Charan and uh, Junior N T R and they are you know uh, bromance was so, so infectious you know that it actually touched you you know every time the chemistry that was there was absolutely brilliant and you have to really see them dance in that song Natu Natu which reminds me the music was excellent as well it blended perfectly with the drama but Natu Natu they were dancing like oh my god they were dancing faster than a bullet <laughs> and uh, this is i think uh, the best performance by a duo since Tiger Shroff and uh, Hrithik Roshan in War you know uh, Jay Jay Shiv Shankar so and this is probably 10 times or 100 times better than that you know they were just dancing with so perfection and at the speed of knots and in sync with each other so they were outstanding both of them were brilliant and uh, so that was my review you know of rrr and um, if you really like the uh, like reading it also then i have written my entire review on my side popcorn reviews with a double s uh, the link of which is in the description box below please do check that out as well and please subscribe to the channel popcorn reviews if you're watching it on all things cinema please subscribe to that channel as well keshav will be back pretty soon and uh, you will be collaborating pretty soon but till then please shower your love again visit my site uh, i have written this is one review that i have really enjoyed writing as well so please check that out as well and uh, thank you until next time i hope to be regular now and cheers let's let's meet soon and let us know in the comment section what movies you would like us to discuss till then keep watching our previous videos i think those are entertaining as well watch those as well and uh, for every other reviews visit my site i think it's all the all the reviews are present on my site so cheers and we'll see you soon